So this will say, how do banks look at people with repossession and how much down is needed, um, I'm assuming, to get in something else? So typically, you know, if a finance company, check your credit bureau, or we as car dealerships look at your credit, and the first thing we see is a repossession, you're like, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Now, if you had a repossession, you know, just say five, six years ago, we may be able to weed through that. That probably, that probably won't be a problem. But if you had one recently, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get a car in 2022 and you just had a repossession in 2020, 2021, you know, it may be hard to get you in another vehicle. Um, more than likely, you're going to need a, you know, a big down payment, probably more than 10 to 15%, probably, you know, almost half to get in something else. And then, you know, the biggest thing is like, you was in a relationship with this finance company. You cheated. You committed to saying you was going to pay something, um, and you didn't go through with that commitment. Now, I understand there's different reasons to where, you know, somebody may get their stuff repoed. Of course, times may get hard where you can't pay this bill anymore. Or you may have got a vehicle from a certain, you know what I'm saying, dealership, a used vehicle, and the engine might went out. Something may happen with the vehicle, and then they say, well, this as is. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to fix it. So in your mind as a customer, you're thinking, why would I pay for something that don't work? You know what I'm saying? So they can just either come get their vehicle or I'm going to take it to them. I'm just stop paying on it to where I'm 90, you know, to 180 days late. They got to come get it. You know, in that instance, you know, that's a voluntary repo, but it's still a repossession. So, you know, repossession can be tricky. You know, it could be either A, I don't want to fool with you ever again. Um, B, we make and do some, or three, you know, most people, if they got bad credit repossession things that they can't get off, they may just hop into bankruptcy. So it's a tricky situation, um, but it's just different strokes for different folks. That's all I can say.